Hello, my name is Jonathan Newell and you're watching Step Tales. Today, we're in the city of Kapchagai. It's a satellite town about 60 kilometers away from the city of Almaty. City residents of Almaty like to come here to take, make use of the beach and the water reservoir that's behind me. Also in this area, there are many, many different resorts. Behind me, you can see the Freedom Resort, one of the best in the area. Today, though, there's something special going on because every year the Discovery Group puts on a special concert for the people who live in this area. This year it's the Ibiza concert and there are DJs, famous DJs come here from all over the world to put on their shows of trance music and of progressive trance and different kinds of modern music like that. Enjoy it. The Capture Guy Reservoir was formed at the end of the 1960s by the construction of a dam on the River Ely to provide irrigation waters and to facilitate the construction of a hydroelectric power station to serve the electricity needs of the region. The result is what is known locally as Capture Guy Lake, which stretches 70 miles from east to west in the Almaty region and serves the requirements of Almaty residents for waterside recreation amenities. The whole of the recreation zone around the artificial lake of Capture Guy is often referred to by the people of Almaty as being the Costa del Sol of Kazakhstan and that is because it has a very deserved reputation. The sun often shines here. There's lots of places where you can rest. Fantastic resorts with these kind of wonderful swimming pools and other facilities like saunas and places where you can rest. They have hotel rooms here as well and they're all very good value. There's lots of them springing up around this particular area. In the 1970s and 1980s, many factories from the industrial heartland of Kazakhstan established holiday camps on the shores of Kapchagai, where the workers were sent with their families during summer shutdown periods. Some of these older resorts still exist, serving an aging and nostalgic clientele, with holiday breaks which are reminiscent of a bygone era. However, these are rapidly being replaced by modern commercial resorts offering the kinds of facilities that could rival any beach resort in more established holiday destinations. This resort was chosen by the organizers of the Ibiza Festival as their venue to provide the right holiday atmosphere and coastal backdrop for followers of the Ibiza style club scene. standing on the beach of Capture Guy Lake here in front of the main stage of this uh, festival now and I'd like to introduce you to Ilya. He's the general director of Discovery Group who organized this festival. Hello Ilya. Hello. 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 <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Ilya, please could you tell me about the history of this event? When did you start it and why? Our company is engaged in show business and it includes organization of concerts and open air concerts like this one. Today we are near Capture Guy Lake in the Freedom Zone. We have organized little open air events for many years and an idea to set up a major project for young people of Kazakhstan emerged in 2005. We wanted this project to help young people explore new areas of music, see and listen to new performers who write music and who perform on stages of Europe and abroad, in the best clubs, and we considered the best place for it. We thought that Capture Guy with its water and sand had the needed atmosphere and we could organize the project there. 
we started considering the name taking into account the most popular sites in the world. Our first decision was Ibiza, so we named our festival Ibiza Musical Festival. It really looks like Ibiza. Thank you. There is such music as progressive trance, etc. Is it really popular in Kazakhstan? Yes, certainly. Before choosing the direction in music, we conducted a survey asking what kind of music Kazakhstan citizens listen to most often. We found out that this kind of music, which is popular club music, is the most popular. So we chose this direction. DJ Sanik, DJ David Guetta and DJ Leroy Thornhill visited us. Oh, they're very famous. Such music is not everywhere because I've seen three stages here today. The main stage is here and there are two others. Why is this the case? Yes, you're right. There are several stages. This stage, in front of which we are today, is the largest. Progressive and house is played here. Another stage is for R&B music. There are several kinds of popular music in Kazakhstan, and we should take many users' opinions into account. The next stage is R&B zone. Only R&B music will be played there. There is also the third site, which is rather like a VIP lounge zone, where you can sit, relax, give orders, and they'll bring you food and drink. <laughs> okay, but don't they interfere with each other? So all these sounds are together, doesn't it end, eh? As we're experienced, we've arranged the stage and sound in such a way that they don't hinder each other. They seem to be close to each other, but they are situated conveniently, and on each side you hear only this music. How many people do you think will come here today? We know from experience that about 10 to 15,000 people attend each event annually. We hope that their number will not decrease this time. Today Mogwai is our guest. He is a world famous DJ and a lot of people should come and see him. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ilya. Good luck. Electronic dance music has reached high levels of popularity in Kazakhstan in recent years, spawning a new generation of local DJs specializing in different genres such as trance, techno house, progressive trance and mixed styles based on the performer's own creativity and enabling dancers to improvise more. The performers on the three stages of the Freedom Ibiza Festival comprised a mixture of local DJs and international performers including the well-established club music star Mogwai, who flew in on a two-day trip especially for the Ibiza Festival. I'd like to introduce you now to an international DJ. He's the star of tonight's show and he's come all the way from Germany. This is Mogwai. Hello, how are you? Hello, fine. Thank you. Good, good, excellent. Good to see you. Tell me, please, um, it takes an awful lot of talent uh, to be successful in your profession. Uh, when did you first discover that you had that talent and how did you develop it? Um, it's a long time ago. I developed it, uh, I think, 1997. Um, I produced before lots of other tracks for different labels in Europe, but at that time I produced a track uh, which is called Beatbox um, under the name Dial M for Mogwai. It, uh, it comes from originally Dial M for Murder from Andy Warhol. Um, so uh, I thought, okay, it's a good idea to make this, uh, to name my, my project Dial M for Mogwai. And uh, yeah, I believed in this track so much, and uh, everybody told me, no, no, it's not good. and. It won't, uh, won't work, you know, and it was the very first track ever in Germany which went uh, in the top 40 over, I think, 12 or 13 weeks and MTV and Viva, all the biggest stations, uh, they, they played this track uh, as an instrumental and it went as an instrumental in the, in the chart and so it was for me uh, where I thought, okay, I have to believe more in myself and uh, not listen to all the other voices around me. Well, I think that's often the secret of success, is just to not to listen to people who say, no, it won't work. Absolutely, and that's what I can tell you, tell everybody out there, if you, if you are doing music or any other kind of art or, or, or business, you know, do what you like. 
Right, good advice indeed. <laughs> now tell me, this is your first time in Kazakhstan. Um, can you tell me something? How did you prepare for this particular evening? Did you do it any differently from uh, how you've done other venues, or is it just the same? No, it's, it's never the same. It's every every gig where I play is, is different. Um, of course, I play really worldwide. You know, tomorrow I'm going straight from Almaty to Amsterdam, play there a festival from there to Prague, and from there to the UK. And uh, it's not uh, always that I'm playing festival. It can be a smaller club, a bigger club, and tonight it's more. It's 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 a festival, and that's why I'm uh, uh, um, putting tracks together or. or what I think makes sense for this festival, you know, which big anthem, big melodies and uh, great atmospheres, I hope. <laughs> great, yeah, I hope so too. And, I, and I have uh, lots of remixes, new remixes, what I've never played before. Uh, I did uh, some uh, remixes for very uh, big uh, pop artists, uh, one is Beyoncé, one is Britney Spears, and I did a uh, uh, mix for Underworld and for Afrojack and all these mixes I also will play here tonight. Right, okay. Now, um, how would you describe your particular style? I mean, is it changing? Because a lot of people say that it's, uh, it's like progressive trance uh, and a mixture, that kind of thing. Is that true? Mm, no. they, say, they tell it about me? Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I think uh, it was a problem in the past that I, that I was not like, I was not house, I was not techno, I was not trance, you know, because uh, I'm a DJ and uh, what? I think it's very boring, especially when you play longer sets in the radio or on the club, you know, when you play only one style. And that's how I started. And it was a problem for my booker at first, because, you know, all the clubs and festivals, they want to have a techno DJ or a house DJ. And, uh, yeah, and nowadays it's like this, and everything is coming together. And it's good for me, because, you know, I'm very open in my sound. For sure, it's, it's, it's kind of progressive house. But it can also be um, breakbeat, it can, can also be big beat, techno, mm -hmm. it depends on where I play, but it's always uh, this, um, what I name it, it, it has this Mogwai appeal. Right, okay, so this is why I was surprised when you were given a label, because it is always developing, isn't it? I mean, that's the, that's the point. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. And uh, one last question, please. Um, uh, tell me, do you gain inspiration from the different venues that you go to? Will you be taking anything away from Kazakhstan today? Um, I haven't seen so much, I have to tell you, you know, because I arrived uh, yesterday evening very late. Um, but I can tell you, it's, it's always, you know, it, it doesn't matter where I am, if I'm, if I'm in Kazakhstan or in America or so, you know, everything influences you. And uh, if you hear radio, if we have a conversation, you know, everything can be uh, very inspiring. Right. Okay, that's all, and thank you very much indeed, Mugwai. And, uh, and I hope you have a, a great evening uh, this you. evening, and I wish you the best of luck. Wish you the same. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks thank you. Goodbye. An established artist in electronic dance music, Mugwai shot to fame with the release of You Know Why in 2002. One of the most sought-after performers on the club scene, he has a grueling performance schedule with the Netherlands, Czech Republic and the UK falling back-to-back -back straight after finishing in Kazakhstan. With lasers and bursts of light splitting the ink-black captured eye night, the party is far from over and is said to continue until dawn when we'll return to the city. Join us again next time on Step Tales, when I'll show you more of Kazakhstan, the same through the eyes of a foreigner. Goodbye.